So today we'll be reviewing the uh, new XTR 980 race pedal Shimano product. Great little pedal this one. I've just come off a, a 30 day break from no riding on the road bike and I've just whacked these pedals on. Shimano's just sent me a pair out. It's a little cool little box. I'll chuck that in the recycling bin later today. But uh, so yeah, all you get in the box is you get your, your two pedals, a little instruction manual, so all fully recyclable. So you get your, obviously you get your two pedals and you get your cleats, that's the SH-51 cleat I reckon. And can you see that liquid paper whiteout pen mark there? So when you put your new cleats on your shoes, make sure you have a whiteout pen and then bang, you can just light them up from the get go. Now what I love about the Shimano pedal is it's fucking durable as, there's not a pedal on the market as durable in my opinion. I've ridden all the pedals, I've ridden the times, I've ridden the, the looks, I've ridden the... Uh, the egg beater you know, quad TI, which were light but really uh, flimsy. But the Shimano XTR pedal, definitely rate it. So this is the latest one. You can see they've moved the axle a lot in closer to the crank, so that's probably going to give a bit more bearing longevity. Again, you can see it's a serviceable pedal, but to be honest, these, these bearings just keep going and going and going. And you can adjust the spring tension with a little Allen key head there, a hex key. You can adjust the spring tension positive or negative depending on what you prefer so it's a highly adjustable pedal and it looks like Shimano sort of uh, CNC'd off for a bit of extra contact there on the, on the pedal not sure if that makes any real difference but this pedal definitely does feel very good on the bike this is what I used to uh, ride this is what I used to ride over here this is their uh, 970 pedal and you can see this pedal's had a lot of, a lot of years of usage but there's still there's no slop in there at all and I put these on the Freely's bike. <laughs> That's what you do with your old XTR pedals is uh, put them on your girlfriend's bike. Because they're just a, a great pedal. Fantastic pedal. So these are the 970s. The brand new ones are the 980s. What's the difference? You can see the pedal axle is not as close. Probably a little bit less stiffness. Can't really tell though. I'd still recommend these pedals as, as the best, second best pedal on the market. Followed by the, uh, the 980 would be the preference. But definitely a great pedal. Just fantastic. It's so smooth. I mean, the bearing quality there is fantastic. So, I'm a big fan of the Shimano pedals, the XCR pedal. They're a pretty good value pedal, but what I like is the cleats last forever. The pedals are very realistically priced, and they're just strong. They're not the lightest thing out there, but they're fucking strong, and they're dependable. So, I definitely rate the XCR pedal. It gives a double thumbs up for me, for sure. So, in conclusion, is the new 980 pedal worth upgrading if you've only got the 970s? In my opinion, no, because the 970 is such a good pedal. But if you're in the market for new pedals, then uh, definitely keep the 980 on your list. I'd, I'd definitely even recommend getting a pair. I, I can't see. I can't fault this pedal at all. It could be a bit lighter, but really, man, do you really need to save weight on your pedals? No, you don't. So, great pedal. I've already said a. Uh, four PBs on some local climbs here I've been riding for the last two years. So not worth upgrading if you've only got the 970s already, but if you're in the market for new pedals, keep these XTR 980s on the short list, definitely.